W H A. Without him, many of us would never have happened, but would have gone on being Georgians or worse. We all recall how he galloped into verse on Skelton's nag and easily reopened 18th century prosody like a can of worms, and there like Alice on a checkerboard, careened through Marx and Freud and Kierkegaard, dazzled and dazzling all the ideas and forms, and camped out in the United States to wrinkle like an Indian squaw, to await the Nobel Prize, and study savages with pale-face eyes, and sit on Oxford dictionaries, and rankle. God bless this poet who took the honest chances. God bless the live poets whom his death enhances.